guys, welcome back to another episode of Grandia with me, Kana Sky. Last time we left off, we arrived at Fina's house, and we see something that we probably should not be seeing. Oh boy. Uh, don't go touching stuff, Sue. Jesus. Um. Panties? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it's Fina's back! I'm so glad you came, and so soon, too. Huh? I mean, it's just, uh, uh, well, Sue? Hi, Fina! It's like, she's, she doesn't really care. <laughs> because I have them in my hand. What are you doing? Those are mine! And she took it back. Oh, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> her little pixelated face. Oh. No, no, I... Uh, it's fine, Fina. Really. What's wrong with you two? You're both blushing. Um, duh. I was just showing him something, that's all. Well, hey, are either of you hungry? Let's have something to eat. <laughs> Thank you for switching to conversation. And this isn't one of those dinner parts, so don't even worry. Oh, mint tea. Dude, mint tea is a little too strong for me, but my personal favorite is green tea. And I actually tried white tea before, and it's really pretty good. I got adventures to do, Fina. I can't really live with you. You thought I was serious? Well, yeah, of course, but I was just joking. <laughs> well, anyway, Justin, was there something else you wanted to talk about? Actually, there is, Fina, but, um, I know that the real question is borrowing the new world map, but I'm pretty sure you guys are interested in these. So we're going to talk about the pecan thing first, because really, I like to know what's going on there. That reminds me, President Pecan said something really weird. He said you and he are engaged. No, really? Engaged? <laughs> that pecan for you. Spreading nonsense like that. No matter what I said, pecan just wouldn't listen to me. What a nuisance. That's why I came here right away. I didn't want to run into pecan. I really wanted to show you around. <laughs> now I understand. I thought that was kind of strange. Now we get it, huh, Justin? So, Justin, is that all you wanted to ask? Not really. You know, you can go on an adventure with us, too. You said it was the salt ruins on the continent of Messina, or Messina, whatever you pronounce that name. Oh my god, I'm so bad. It would be incredible if the ancient ruins really did work. They do work, they do, Fina. A girl named Lante told me so. She told us to add to it for a Lent. Really? It is true? Then the spirit stone is real? I thought Justin was dreaming. But that's great. That is quite a discovery. Yeah, now finally we get to ask her the real question. Borrowing the map so we can go to the Dom Ruins. I'm gonna go to the Dom Ruins. Would it be okay if I borrowed your map of the New World? Didn't you join the Adventurer's Society? They should give you an Adventurer's map when you join. Join the Adventurer's Society? Never! That dude is no adventurer. He's just a lousy tour guide. That president is a blabbering idiot! How do a fool like him get to be president of the Adventurer Society? Fina, you're different, right? You're a real adventurer! Still, I'm at a loss. The Adventurer Society will say I'm not supposed to lend the Adventurer's map to non-members. Also, if I lend my map to you, Justin, I can't continue with my own work. Anyway, I'm sure some secrets of Angelo are hidden in the Dom Ruins, so come with us to find them, Fina. Thank you for inviting me, Justin. But I can't. I'm afraid the Adventurer's Society will say I'm not allowed to go there. Okay. You're an adventurer. And there's rules of being an adventurer to adventure across the land searching far and wide. That's a joke, right? You're kidding, right? Baseball. Really now, Fina? All I hear from you is rules, 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 rules. See, I, I'm not even... You know. Should there be any places anywhere where adventurers can't go? Justin, don't confuse pros with amateurs. Pros must follow the rules. That is, that's the way it is for us pros. No, pros is where you be like Indiana Jones and search for the Holy Grail and all that. But you, you... are an idiot. In this case, Fina. If an adventurer breaks the rules, his pass gets taken away and he's out. Justin, you must understand how hard it would be for an adventurer to be unable to go on any adventures. So, I need to hold on to this pass. That's where you're wrong. 
right, Justin? You tell him, man. No adventures, no adventures without a pass. No choice of destination without an okay. What kind of adventure is that? No one decides where the wind blows. Only the wind can determine that. A true adventurer is like the wind. Run like the wind, bullseye. Why are you so quiet now, Fina? You're not one. Of, you're not like those nerds in the adventure society, are you? No, but. Oh no, that music. I. Uh, yeah. I refuse to divide that thing for him. I... Mm. No, don't go out there, Fina. Please. Yeah. Oh, Schnickerdoodles. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Fina, I told you not to go out there. This dude is like a stalker, a pervert. You should know this by now. I mean, you worked with him. You you still work with him. I don't know why. <clears throat> oh no. Go on home, Bacon. I told you to never come here again, remember? Uh, but tonight is the night when our hearts will be united. Oh, yup, yup, and I know I changed the different voices, but who cares? Once you and I are married, Fina, we can wash our underwear together. Uh, ew! Ew, go wash your own underwear, Pecan. I have no intention of marrying you. How many times must I tell you? Uh, don't be so shy. I know you're really... I know you're really crazy about me, Fina. Uh, yup. Yeah, you know, with that whole booger around you. If you don't marry me, I'm going to take away your adventure rights past, so dare. He's like a ten-year-old. You are a... That should have nothing to do with whether or not we get married. Con, you're such a sleaze bag. Thank you. Fina just plain hates your guts. Can't you see that? Can't you get that into your head? And can't you see that too? What are you doing here at Fina's house? Yo, are you her boyfriend or what? Me? I I'm, uh, yeah, of course. I'm her friend, I suppose. No, wait a minute. Actually, Justin is my... My fiancé? <laughs> uh, Fina! Look, we got to coordinate our stories. If we don't, we'll never see Pecan. We'll never. Pecan will just be an idiot still. So, I'm in love with him, Pecan. He proposed to me a year ago. Can't you see this ring that doesn't exist on my finger? So I'm afraid I can't marry you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, sh she's right. Keep your paws off my woman. <laughs> Dude, that's sexy. I didn't know Justin was into the older woman. I don't even know how old she is. That's too bad, my dear Fina. You've been claimed by that silly boy. You know, why would she marry a, a body bodyguard? Why would you... Master Chang? What? Hiya! Uh huh? What the... I, I don't like cursing my own people. What the hell is that? <laughs> that that's... That's... A potato... Uh, ow. Tor uh, tornado punch? Justin! Okay, well... That was quite awkward. Very, very awkward. Alright, Justin, you came too. Oh, did that guy Chang beat me up? Stu, where's Fina? Those guys took her with them. They said they're gonna have a wedding. So, Justin, what should we do? Uh, the only thing we can do, we're gonna save Fina because Pecan's a little sleaze and douchebag. So, normally I would save here and end the video, but I'm gonna make this a million parts, so make you all suffer. 